All right, budget magic time. Uh, fogging around in standard and two lands on the draw. All right, we're going to try it. Super risky. We got to draw lands. Probably up against zombies. That is not a land, but we get to a tune for a planes. Planes lets us cycle this cast out for more lands. Wesville Abbey for our opponent. And Metallic Mimic. I feel like this should be a super good matchup. Well, let's play Cinderglade past the turn. We are going to need to find something. We have no fogs. Opponent gets in for two. Hits us down to 18. And passes. Ooh, there's a fog. All right, play the planes past the turn. This actually works out pretty well, I think. We get to cycle cast out and possibly untap in bounty at a fairly high life total. And then we're off to the races. Opponent must have a handful of Liliana's Masteries. Wow, what is our opponent's hand? Well, cycle cast out. Not a land. Evolving Wilds. We'll play Evolving Wilds past the turn. Well, now it's going to be about getting to this Fumigate, I think. Gotta be Mastery, right? What is our opponent's draw? Opponent gets in. 4-2. Jeez, and passes? What did our opponent keep? What is going on? Oh, they probably have a handful of removal spells. That makes more sense. Uh, I think we just grab another white source. And a canopy vista. I think we just gotta play bounty. Get the card draw going. We're not under too much pressure yet. So play bounty. Pass the turn. Now we get to start drawing extra cards. We're almost to Nissa's renewal. Jeez. Well, you can see one of the advantages of playing essentially zero creatures is your opponent gets stuck with a lot of removal spells that don't do much. Another land. There's Crypt Breaker. Opponent. No attacks. Little confused by that. Well, we draw land and irrigated farmland. Well, I think we just Nissa's Renewal. That gives us so much mana. Island, Forest, Forest. And this puts us up to 23. And next turn, we're going to have double bounty going. And I feel like we got this pretty much on lock now. We'll find our finishers eventually. Opponent gets in for two. Their draw has been super strange. We're going to have double bounty going as well. Another Westful Abbey. Canopy Vista, get some mana. Well, play bounty. Play Canopy Vista, pass the turn. So we're most likely going to commit to memory something here because we might want to wheel at some point. So getting it in the graveyard seems good. Opponent's making zombies. Still, like, getting to the late game like this, it, we're just in such good shape. Opponent's not even going to attack. Well, let's cycle Irrigated Farmland and commit the Crypt Breaker. Opponent can draw, but we just want to have a commit to memory in the graveyard so we can wheel at some point. Or maybe our opponent just had a million lands. Makes a zombie. Yep, draws a card. Well, now we have dueling bounties. There's a fevered visions. Cast out and commit to memory. Well, I think we just play fevered visions. Play ether hub. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's just fumigate. Pass the turn. Ooh, there's Kefnet. Kefnet is so good here. We can draw so many cards. And, I mean, our opponent probably has removal, but even if they do, it's not that bad. Yeah, opponent just fires off Dark Salvation to make some zombies. Opponent draws down to 17. Eh, let's cycle cast out. I don't think we need it anymore. Another Fog, Essence Scatter. Well, we make approximately a million mana. So I guess we Kefnet and draw with Kefnet. Pick up the Forest, replay the Forest. Second Fevered Visions. And pass the turn. Draw two more cards. So we have a double Commit to Memory to save our Kefnet from a Dark Salvation. 
And our Kefnet's actually a creature now, too. And if we don't have to counter something, we can just draw a bunch with Kefnet. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, another Dark Salvation. So let's just commit to memory. Put it on top. Crypt Breaker for our opponent. Sure, we'll let that go. No attacks. Well, we're already drawing so many cards, but we might as well draw with Kefnet. Not going to pick up a land, though. Ooh, there's approach. <laughs> well, that gives us a way to close out the game pretty quick. So draw a card, draw a card, draw a card. Get in with Kefnet. Opponent's at eight. I don't even think we're going to approach yet. Let's just play a bounty. Play an ether hub. And pass the turn. Draw, draw. Get rid of Cinder Glade, get rid of Essence Scatter, and get rid of, uh, I guess, a Fog. And our opponent's just dead next turn to to our Kefnet. And if they flip Westville Abbey, we can commit it. Lord of the Accursed. Kefnet plus Fevered Visions. So I think our opponent's just dead. Sure, opponent gets in. We'll take 9. Down to 15. Dark Salvation. Well, let's commit it. I guess this puts our opponent to not just dead. They're down to six. We draw more commit to memories. Add a bunch of mana. Well, let's approach with our free mana. Go up to 22. Get in with Kefnet. Put our opponent to one. So we're winning in all sorts of ways. Play Ether Hub, and I mean, we'll just pass. I don't think we have to do anything. Opponent makes a zombie, sure. I mean, I guess we could just descend upon the sinful. I don't even know if it really matters. Let's just pass, we can fog. Draw, draw. Discard a Fevered Visions. And yeah, I think this is it, I mean, we just resolve a fog, and that should be game. Dark Salvation kills our Kefnet. Well, let's draw a card. Alright. Kefnet down. I think our opponent still just loses to Fevered Visions. If not, do we get to approach next turn? We might. Opponent's gotta go Westville Abbey. Yep, transforms. But we just get to cast out... Get rid of Ormondal. And that should do it. Pretty sure this is Death by Fevered Visions. And that does it. Whew. Well, our opponent got off to a slow start, but we have so many things that are good in this matchup. So many good cards. We can bring in Descend Upon the Sinful, which is an all-star against zombies. We can go down Gideon's Intervention. That's for Walking Ballista, primarily. Might go down Essence Scatter as well. I think we just want big sweepery effects. So another Fumigate, another Descend Upon the Sinful, and that might be fine just like that. We could even go up one more Fumigate. What would we go down? Maybe just Negate? Negate for Fumigate? Yeah, let's run it like that. Bring in all the Wraths. Jeez. We do have a tradition of getting these one-landers. All right, this hand is not good, but we gotta keep it. Fog, I think to the bottom for now. We really wanna find card draw. Opponent plays a land. Uh, we don't have the mana for that yet. Let's just Cinder Glade past the turn. Fumigate is good though, eventually, hopefully. Metallic Mimic for our opponent. Yep. I'll play Ether Hub. Probably going to have to cycle a cast out. Swamp for our opponent. And Relentless dead. Opponent's clock is picking up. And we haven't found any card draw yet. And our white mana is severely lacking. That's the downside of cycling. Is we're actually going to lose our only white mana. Until we find more energy. But I think it's worth it. So cycle. Alright, there's white mana. Ooh, and Fevered Visions. Well... I think we just have to Fevered Visions. Pass the turn. This does mean we don't have white mana for two turns. Oh, Commencement's actually really good. That's a nice little nice little safety valve. Make sure we don't die while we're waiting for this 
scattered groves to untap for Fumigate. Bona gets in. Four, s five. So we're down to 13. Opponent drops to 18 from Fevered Visions. Ether Hub's good. So, uh, yeah, let's just play Scattered Groves past the turn. So now we can Fog if we need to. With the plan being that next turn, we Wrath, most likely. The best would be Liliana's Mastery. If they Liliana's Mastery and we can back it up with a Fog, that would be so good for us. Three, six, seven, eight. We drop to five. Yeah, I think we're going to spend a fog here. So we stay at 13. Opponent not playing anything else. Drops to 16. We draw more fogs. I don't even know if we want a wrath yet. Yeah, let's just play Cinderglade past the turn. Wrath isn't that good because they have all that mana up for Relentless Dead. We draw a forest. We might just cast out the Relentless Dead here and take our beats. There's Mastery. Pumps the dorks. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. One, two, three, four. Actually, do we even care? They can't get back anything else. Yeah, let's just fog again. Cast fog, prevent the damage. Opponent drops to 14. We draw a fog. Well, play ether hub, get an energy. And yeah, we're just going to Wrath here. Our opponent gets back a Relentless dead, but whatever. Fumigate, sweep the board. Go up to 18. Oh, this feels like it should be just an insanely good matchup for us. We get to draw, and it's a tune with Ether. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Opponent plays a land. Relentless dead. Lord of the Accursed. Opponent passes, drops to 12. Evolving Wilds. Well, let's just attune with Ether. Grab a Plains. Play Kefnet. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. More lands. So we can fog here if we need to. All right, Grasp of Darkness. Kind of surprised our opponent left in removal. Not very good against us. I guess I don't know exactly what our deck is doing. And Dark Salvation, sure. Goes to combat. Uh, I think we can take seven here. That's fine. No need to waste a fog. Crack of Alving Wilds. We will find a commit to memory at some point for refueling purposes. Well... Might as well, I guess. Just fumigate again. Opponent can't actually get anything back because Metallic Mimic, not a zombie. So we can get Relentless Dead back to hand, but that's that's about it. And yeah, we'll just pass. I don't know if our opponent can beat us. Another Fevered Visions. Well, that picks up the clock a little bit as well. Opponent has Swamp, Dread Wanderer. We'll find Descend Upon the Sinful at some point, too, and that's whew, so good against Relentless Deads and Dread Wanders. Oh, opponent's getting tricky. Well, also leaving Fatal Pushes in their deck. I don't think our opponent really knew where to... how to sideboard against our deck. There's a Diagraph. Yep. Still dies to our Fogs. Well, it doesn't die, but can't beat our Fogs. There's Commit to Memory. Well, I think we just play Fevered Visions, play Sanctum, and pass the turn, plan on Commit to Memory. Oh, there's... Oh, there it is. All right. We have Delirium. We found Descend Upon the Sinful. So now we don't even really care what our opponent does. They're going to play a bunch of creatures. We're going to descend, uh, descend Upon the Sinful, and the game... Should pretty much just end. Well, seems like... <laughs> seems like we're set up pretty well to beat zombies. Opponent, get, they left a lot of removal in. It's kind of working. They're getting tricky to get stuff back from their graveyard. Unfortunately for them, Descend Upon the Sinful is... Is not going to be fun for them. Yep. 
Gets back Lord of the Accursed. Replays it. Oh, jeez. Oh, his Descend is going to be so good. I don't even know. I mean, I guess we fog. We got a million fogs. We, yeah. We don't really have to, but we probably should. So cast our fog. Take zero. Opponent takes two off Fever Visions. Gets one freebie. Well, we will just... Oh, Descend upon the Zidful. Get rid of all those zombies forever, thanks to exiling. Stops all these relentless dead shenanigans. Also gets us a 4-4. Playing Ether Hub. And pass the turn. And this one's looking pretty over. I mean, we just have every tool we need to to absolutely crush this deck. Opponent plays a swamp. Is this a huge dark salvation? Alright. Well, we'll commit to memory. And that might just be game. Fevered Visions plus Angel Beads. Alright, not just game. Opponent takes two from Fevered Visions. Well, I think we just wheel here to refill our opponent's hand. And I guess we play Canopy Vista. Play Canopy Vista. Memory. Draw some new cards. And not really exciting new cards. But our opponent's up to seven cards in hand. We draw... Fog and Forest... Well, we'll discard a land, discard a land. So our opponent needs to be able to get pretty much empty-handed here, which means they needed to not draw, what, three lands off of the wheel effect, or they just die. Current breaker for our opponent. There's a Diagraph Colossus. And Relentless Dead. Are they actually going to do this? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Because we can just fumigate. But are they going to stay alive? They are. Okay. Opponent wheeled into a ton of non-land. So they're not just dead yet. And Dark Salvation. Wow. So our opponent takes zero. Unfortunately for them, we just fumigate. But that was pretty impressive that they managed to not die to the wheel. So let's fumigate. <laughs> Poor opponent. Can't get back the Relentless Dead, so we go up to 22. This just feels... It's gotta feel so miserable from the zombie side. They're mono black, they can't deal with our enchantments. They don't have any way to kill us through the fogs. It just... <laughs> it seems brutal. Well, we gotta, we got a way to close out the game. And since our opponent's got nothing happening, we might as well cast Approach. So, worst case, seven cards from now, we find Approach, which is only like two turns thanks to... Fevered Visions, and Cycling. I mean, Cycle three times? Yeah, we can't quite get there next turn, I don't think. Opponent has another Mastery. And our opponent still... They gotta hope they never get multiple lands in their hand, or they just lose. Crypt Breaker. Alright, well, opponent got <laughs> got in under the damage again. They're drawing... They're drawing well enough that they're not taking damage. Gets back Dreadwander. Sure. So he takes zero. Their, our opponent's putting up a super good fight, considering how bad of a matchup I think this is for them. Well, play Bounty. Play Ether Hub. Fumigate again. Opponent should not draw. Yeah, they don't draw. Pass the turn. Draw a couple more cards. So next turn, I think we just get the approach win. We've drawn five cards so far, and we have a bunch of cyclers in hand. So even if our opponent doesn't die... Two Fevered Visions. Yeah? Alright, they got empty-handed again. But... I don't think it's going to save them. Gets back all their stuff. That's why Descend Upon the Sinful is so good. Let's cycle a Fog. Opponent takes zero. There's Approach. Draw an extra card. And... Time to approach the second, Sons. Well... Seem good. Zombie matchup. We'll take it. Only the best deck in standard at the moment. <laughs> oh, that matchup is so good for us. Well, Turbo Fog crushing zombies. Absolutely crushing them. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, take a second and click that like button down below. It's a great way to help support the channel for free. And you can find the next video in the playlist right here.